but can we say hello, amen, and everything that God has called us to be. You know, I'm excited to be here today with you. We are on Speaker Family as well as on Crossing Borders International, and we are on our Instagram page. So I just want to say hello, God bless you, and as the Lord permits all these things, we'll be able to go in into our um, YouTube page as well. So I just want to thank you for your prayers and your support towards this ministry and everything, what the Lord is doing and how the Lord is working and how He's conveying us also to work together and collaborate in many areas and many faucets within our lives. Amen. And so we're so happy. I know that heaven is happy. God is happy. Amen. That all these things are working for the good. Amen. Like the word says that God works all things for the good for those who love God and those who are called according to God's plan and God's purposes. Amen. And so before I get into the word of God here today, reminding you that put God first in all things. See God in prayer. See God in your time with the Lord into the word of God. And that way the life of God should be uh, be easily to be poured out out of our lives. Once again, we are on our speaker family, our worldwide radio, amen, that is truly touching lives and ministering to the lives all around the world. You know, I laid down the, the 40 day just for a little bit because things were shifting and um, we still will be doing the 40 day fast thinking. I'm still doing it personally, amen. I just haven't been able to do it with y'all and collabing here through the airwaves, amen. But I want you, this is the time to refresh, refresh to the word of God in your thinking and your mindset about wrong thinking and just begin to pray that out amen just to begin to uh, pray all those areas out that maybe you're having a mentality where you've been stuck and you need to overcome that portion of your thought and of your thinking amen and so i just want to remind you that we minister um to those who we're connecting with around the world which truly excites me to see the hand of god move mightily within our lives and so i know that god is moving in our lives i know that god is moving in your lives so let us pray let us pray without ceasing you know, even that too, I picked up a, a prayer book here this morning about taking selective time just to pray and how it is so important to pray. And I know sometimes you could probably feel that you can pray for one time uh, in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And you know what? That's all you can pray. And that's good. That's a good start off. But you want to start off on that. And as well grow from that. But I learned a long time ago that it's not only praying in the time of that selective prayer. But also pray at all times. Amen. And being connecting into the way and of the spirit. Amen. And so let us go ahead and get into this word of God. I will be sharing some announcements with you. Amen. At the end of the program. And know that you will be seeing us in many different aspects and different areas, amen, where we can be a blessing into your life. So let us pray here today. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for the peace. The peace of God that is ruling, the peace of God that is reigning here within our lives here today. Father God. We cast all care upon you, Father, because you care for us. You watch over us. You nurture us. And you keep us on the fire, Lord. You keep us burning for you, Father God. We, you keep us yearning for you, Father God, that everything that we do, that we have no lack, we have no slack. Father God, just as you had said, you know what, we... 
Don't look back. We keep the hands to the plow and we continually to move forward mightily in the things of God. I thank you, Lord, that you have removed the blind eyes to see and make the lame to walk. I thank you, Lord, here today through the word of God who has granted us the peace that has granted us the love, that has granted us to be in sound mind unto the kingdom and unto the Lord here today. In Jesus' mighty name. See, God wants us to have that peace. God is our peace maker. God wants us to have that peace divinely within our hearts. To know that it's Jesus who has the will. I don't know if many of y'all remember the song, Jesus Take the Will. And you know, that's how we need to be in our lives here today. And I believe that that's what God is doing here today. He is granting us the peace. And that Jesus would take the will within our lives. Sometimes we may not know what we're doing. Sometimes we may not know where we're going. Come on now. But I want you to know that God knows. God knows the way. Even the word out of John 14, there in verse number 6, it says that Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life. And so there might be hard times in our lives where we don't understand the peace. But there is such an inner peace that there's a joy. An inner peace and an inner joy that He has created us to be one. And there is such a oneness in the Lord that that's where we can gather to be together under the leading of God's divine peace. You know, we have to know how to even be by ourselves. We have to know to be able to meditate and obtain the Word of God. Soak in the Word of God. Meditate on the Word of God where God says that He will grant us success, amen, and peace. God wants us to have life in Him. And the way that we're going to be able to do that, it is through the Word of God where God consoles within our life this word of peace see i want you to know church that god's not finished with you yet what god has begun in you god is faithful to complete that promise inside of our lives and see god sees the first to the very end he sees the very beginning to the very end god is an all-knowing god and He knows exactly what we need. He knows exactly what we, where we are going. Come on now. And what also, what needs to be done. But we have to have the peace. Not the peace of the world. But the peace of God. God wants us to have that God-given peace. Not what the world gives. But what God gives. See, the peace of God can take you through, even through the midst of the storm. The peace of God can take you when you feel like all hell is coming down on you. Listen, you can feel like you're going through some dark, very uh, weary and heavy parts of your life. But when we have the peace of God, See, God will take us through the storm. God knows how to say, peace, be still to the waters, to the storms of life, through the circumstances that are risen up against you. You know what? The, the nayers, the haysayers, and you know what? Even those things that are rising up against you in your mind, as well as in your heart, in your soul, in your lives, and in your job. Each and every one of those designated places, God is saying, let me be 
the God of peace. The God of peace. You know, I even shared with my daughter here today about when God says that He's called us to be peacemakers, okay, not peace keepers. No, what He did say about being a keeper is about being your brother's keeper, okay? And there's a certain extent where we help one another, encourage one another, where it is not a burdensome, okay? Each and every one of us will carry our own, just like carrying our own cross. But I can be there to lend a hand. I can be there to bring an encouraging word. I can bring there and be there to be the life of Christ in your life, to bring life and encouragement in your hearts and in your homes here today. God is God like that. He is the God of peace. And I pray that as we have profound in this word of God today about peace, that God who is our peace maker, that you will make peace with God here today. See, out of the word of God in James, there in chapter 1, verse number 5, that if any of you is deficient in wisdom, let him ask of the giving God, the giving God who gives to everyone liberally and ungrudgingly without reproaching or even fault finding, and it will be given to him. Are you lacking in wisdom today? Are you lacking in your peace today? I'm here today to, today to tell you that God ordained this peace for your life. God is the God that is in control of all things. Of mankind, womankind, come on. Anything that has breath, let everything that has breath praise be the Lord. See, it may be hard. It may be hard. You know, but even for your pets, I don't know why. I just feel like maybe there's troublesome for someone that has pets or that has animals. You know, I want you to let God grant you that peace. Maybe you're, you're, uh, your pet has passed away or something tragically has happened. I pray the peace of God over your life today. I pray that everything that you do and all that you function and everywhere that you go, that God has given you the mind of Christ that you may stay your peace. If we lack any wisdom, if we lack any guidance, that we can go to the Word of God, who is the resource in our lives to grant us these very things and what we need. See, we have to be careful when someone makes a suggestion that even sounds good. Because not every good idea is a God idea. Amen? So don't rush into making decisions. Don't rush into accepting even new responsibilities without praying about it first. You know what? Just slow down. Just slow down enough to ask God for this wisdom that truly He wants to give to us and listen to God's guidance. Take a little bit of time to see that if you have this peace, this peace about this idea that if you don't have this peace, then you don't have to understand why you don't have this peace. You just don't do it. In other words, if God hasn't given you peace upon a matter, you know what? If you've asked God and you have not received that download of that peace, peace be still. I know that He is God. And if you're looking for that guidance, if you're looking for that uh, 
the leading of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. And when you are led into your decision making, there will be such a peace. And when you don't have that peace, well, just don't do it. Amen. Just don't do it. And so we're going to pray for the peace of God to work over your lives. We have some exciting news here today. Amen. God bless you. We love you, Miha. Hopefully you can see me good on, on your end. Amen. We're having a little bit of trouble in the light. So I'm just going to give a wave offering there. You know, but I grant you the peace of God in your life here today. Let the peace of God that transcends all understanding that He will grant you the peace in your life. I know sometimes you feel like you're up a rock in a hard place. Maybe you feel like you're unstable in all your ways. But you know what? God is saying, peace be still. And know that I am God over this matter. Know that I am God over your heart. Know that I am God over your lives. And just like I've always worked things out from the beginning, I'm the God that can work those things out all the way to the very end. See, God loves us like that. And He loves you so much that He doesn't want you to be downtrodden. He doesn't want you to be forsaken, beaten up by an ugly stick, as they say. You know, God is a God of love. God is a God of sound mind. And I pray the peace of God over your life here today. So I pray that this word of God was a blessing to your heart. I know usually we go deep into a revelational teaching, but I really just wanted to come in on this time to give a God-given word that don't be ruled by your feelings, by your mind, nor by your emotions. I pray that you will be led by the Spirit of the living God and that God will grant you the peace in your life today. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the peace that's designated over our lives today. Father God, we will not walk in distraught. We will not walk in destruction. We will stop allowing the strong man, the evil one of this world, to take our peace from our lives. Have your way in our lives. And have your way in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hold on one second, church. I'll be with you in one minute. You know what, church? I am just sharing with you about this peace of God. And I want to remind you that come this Sunday morning, we will be preaching in Pakistan. There with uh, my pastor and a friend there from Pakistan, um, all the way from, let me see, uh, Falsbad, uh, we will be sharing the word of God in the morning. So we're going to be shifting our morning. Our morning will be starting there at uh, 10 o'clock a.m., which will be there 8 o'clock. And so, if I'm right, please join me in on our universal church in giving this word of God out for your lives. Thank you for entrusting me to helping me deliver this word of God truly around the world. I want you to be the evangelist here today. 
through this word of God. I want you to share this word of God with your friends, with your loved ones. Come on now. And you know what? Be that evangelist. Amen. In giving out this word of God. Amen. And if you have not given your life to the Lord, please do so today. Make it a choice to serve God. Make it a choice to love God. Make it a choice to say, you know what, from here on out, I want to gather in and be in, in one mind, in one accord, in and through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Also to church, we can't forget, we are once again an international church, and I am Latina, okay? So yo si hablo español, amen? And not only do we have Crossing Borders International, We also have Cruzando Fronteras con una voz de alerta. Y mi esposo, which is my husband, will be bringing in the word of God in Spanish in the mornings. Amen. And so I pray that if you speak Spanish or you're li listening on this for um, coming into the next month, We will be going in in Cruzando Fronteras con una voz de alerta. We will still be doing that in the English, but we will be transitioning that in our night hours, okay? And so we will be taking the evening instead of the morning so we can come in for our Spanish-speaking family as well as for our English-speaking family. If that is pleasing to the Lord, amen, may we continually to move forward in this new realm, in this new beginning, amen, of moving forward in the things of God. We love you, church. God bless you. And we will see you so soon. Hallelujah. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget not to connect, amen. And if these videos have truly been a blessing to you, hey, there you go. You can message me. If you want to become a partnership with this ministry, let me know, amen. And I want to be able to uh, send something to you that it may be a blessing into your lives as you partnership as well as into our ministry. Thank you once again for gathering with us continually to keep us in your prayers, amen, as well as with your support. We love you, God bless you, and we'll see you so very soon. God bless you, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, speaker family, I just want to...